All right, guys, interesting thing happened this morning, okay? Today was my weighted abs and cardio day, okay? So I jumped on the bar to do my weighted hanging leg lifts, okay? When I hung from the bar, what I noticed was my chest, okay, my front delts, and like a little bit in my arms was sore, okay? The reason is, the reason I noticed this is because when I, you know, kick my legs up, I have to actually have like a, like an isometric tension, okay, to tense my chest muscles, to test, te uh, tense certain muscles in my upper body, you know, to be able to pull my legs up. And there was soreness there, okay? So yesterday, I did lower body, and the day before yesterday, I did upper body. So that means today, two days after my upper body workout, I was sore. And if I had to do an upper body session, you know, weighted pull-ups, weighted dips, that would have sucked, okay? Because my chest was, like, I noticed the soreness doing leg raises. So you can imagine what it would have been like if I actually had to do weighted dips and weighted pull-ups. And this is bringing me back to something I've spoken about before, which is the optimal training frequency, okay? A lot of people say full body workouts three days a week. I have other problems with full body workouts I'm not going to get into right here. I've spoken about them before, but let's just talk about training frequency. Delayed onset muscle soreness hits 48 hours after a workout. So that means if you work out day one, okay, the next day you might be a little bit sore. The second day you're going to be really sore. That's when domes, delayed onset muscle soreness sets in 48 hours, two days after the workout. Now, if I were to go ahead and do full body on Monday, take Tuesday off, do full body on Wednesday, that would mean the soreness from the workout on Monday is just really hitting. My muscles are dying. They're just begging to recover and come back stronger, and I hammer them again before they're ready. Then I take Thursday off, and Friday I go ahead and I hit the same muscles again. Once again, 48 hours after Wednesday. Once again, right when domes, delayed onset muscle soreness is hitting, I hammer them again. So when are they gonna actually have the chance to grow, okay? Now, I know people are gonna say, well, this works for me and this is work. Most people who do full body workouts are beginners. Most people who are beginners can do anything and they'll grow. It's called newbie gains, okay? <laughs> That doesn't mean it's the optimal way, okay? There's a difference between maximum and optimal, okay? So maybe the maximum frequency you can train is, you know, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, basically every other day, take weekends off, okay? That might be maximal, but is it optimal? I think that if I hit my upper body Monday, lower on Tuesday, Wednesday I do weighted abs and, uh, and cardio, and then Thursday I do upper, Friday I do lower, and Saturday I once again do weighted abs and cardio. That is for me optimal, okay? I'm hitting every muscle twice a week, but I'm also giving two days off in between instead of one day off in between. So I hit Monday I do my upper body, Tuesday I rest it because I'm doing lower body. Wednesday when domes hits 48 hours later, I rest it because I'm doing abs and cardio. And then Thursday, after I've had one, two, three days, okay, to recover, that's when I hit my upper body again. So it is, in my opinion, the optimal combination of training frequency, how often I train in a week, and the optimal amount of recovery that I have. And like I said, this morning, you know, just, just the fact that I was holding on to this bar and just the fact that I immediately felt it like in my chest and my shoulder and my arms, just holding the bar and tensing my body to lift my legs up, I immediately noticed, like, if I had to do dips again that day, you know, it, it would have been difficult. It would have been suboptimal. My body's still trying to recover. Why am I doing weighted dips and weighted pull-ups when my you know, back and my biceps and my triceps and my shoulders and everything are sucking because they're trying to recover from the last workout? Okay, so like I said, this is just, you know, this comes down to caloric intake, protein intake, everything. There is a difference between, you know, sufficient, maximal, and optimal. And I always think you should hit the optimal, okay? If something at low is like sufficient, is it optimal? Is maybe a little bit more going to be optimal? And this is like sufficient, this will give you kind of results, but a little bit more will be optimal? Then do optimal. If working out however many times a week is the maximum you can do without dying and breaking your muscle off the bone, 
maybe that's a little bit too often. Maybe you should bring it down and give yourself more rest and recovery and you'll get better results by going optimal. So like I said, don't look at the minimum you can do. Don't look at the maximum you could do. Look at the optimal you can do. And I feel, for me at least, okay, that twice a week, okay, having two days off at least in between workouts is for me the optimal training frequency. All right, guys, if you have any questions or you have any comments, just go ahead and put them in the um, video, in the uh, comment section below. And other than that, um, please subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.